Hey, what's up everybody? Dobia Masters here. And today I'm gonna to be kind of finishing off my little series on LUTs. And that's gonna be the final step is we've learned how to add LUTs and how to create your own LUT. But let's go over how to add the LUT into this part right here. So instead of having to click browse, we can actually just find it in here every time. We can, you know, we can even delete the ones we don't use and just, you know, click on a button and that LUT will be applied. We don't have to, you know, like I said, browse for it farther. So let's go ahead and look at the LUTs that we're going to be dragging. They're in my downloads folder right here. If we go to the small HD movie looks, these seven LUTs, let's try to add them into Premiere Pro. I got these from this website right here. I'll put a link below. It's just a website that has seven free LUTs. You literally click a download button and you can get seven of them. They're pretty good as well. They look like different movies. So we have these seven, how do we add them to Premiere Pro? What we need to do is we need to find out where Premiere Pro is in our files. Uh, on a Mac or PC, just got to find it. Uh, on the Mac, you can use the finder to find the files. On PC, it's usually on your local disk under program files. Quick tip for PC users, if you wanna find it quickly, you can actually type in Premiere Pro over here. You can right click on it and go to open file location. This will take you to all of the sort of uh, shortcuts here. You can right click on the shortcut again and go to open file location and it'll jump you right to it. You can see this is the actual file. This is what Premiere Pro runs from. And then here are all the files we need. And like I said, they're in program files under Adobe in Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2018. Then we just go to Lumetri right here. Once we're in Lumetri, we look for the LUTs and you'll see that we have two right here. We have the creative and we have the technical. The creative is this right here is your creative LUT. Um, and then your technical is the basic correction. So you know how we have input LUT right here and we have creative right there. Well, those folders are what each of these pull from. So if we go back into that file, if you see in the creative, it has all the ones that we saw under here, all under look, they're all right here. And if we go up here into technical, there's only like maybe seven of them right there. And if we go look in technical up here, you'll see that there's maybe about seven of them right there as well. So you can choose which one, which folder you wanna put it into. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put it into the creative. So we just need to go look for those seven again, right here, highlight them, drag them over, click continue. And do this for all current items. And then so now all of them are in here, down here at the bottom as small HD and you'll notice if we go over back into creative and we pull this up that it probably has not actually updated. I would doubt Premiere has actually updated them. No, so what you need to do is you need to go ahead and save your project, shut it down and then reopen up Premiere, reopen up your file and go back into Lumetri. So let's go back into the color tab over here, back into creative and now it has reloaded this. And if we go to the bottom, you'll see that these seven have now been added in here. And we can go ahead and just click and add them from here instead of having to browse for them each time. You'll notice that this is not the most friendly sort of view here. So if you want to, you know, take out the ones that you don't use, put them in a separate folder. So if you ever want them again, you can go ahead and do that and just have the ones that you want right at the top. Or you can rename these. Uh, these are in alphabetical order. So if you want them to be priorities, maybe put an A at the beginning for the ones that you really like to use often. And it'll stick them up there at the top. But that is how you add LUTs into Premiere Pro so you don't have to browse every single time for them. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and dump them in the comment section below or on our website at adobemasters.net. If you wanna see more videos similar to this one, go down to that subscribe button. I make a video every other day on Adobe-related products. And until next time, guys, see ya.